oh, come on, you have little faith. At what point? So how's it going, guys? I'm out here for the first few minutes on the uh, Kraft Moto suspension here. We did the full uh, revalve control treatment on these uh, forks and things are pretty dang good. I, I'm only what, 15 minutes into the ride or so. They gave me a, a trail baseline. Everybody. Oh yeah. So Tyler, what was it you were saying about how good a maintenance you do? Your chain's falling off like right <laughs> at the beginning of the ride? I'm not sure what maintenance what you need, need to do to prevent a rock he, Tyler says this rock took his chain off. I'm just saying he probably didn't even have the thing. Did you do the Ronnie Mac check or yeah, the Tyler, Tyler check? <laughs> Just when I was getting into good flow, we have to come back and ruin it all because Tyler's I mean, bike is broken again. There's nothing wrong with the rocket house, see? It's rough on Tyler's bike. This guy, this guy in maintenance, I don't know, man. It's kind of suspect. Oh, there we go. This it, took, is, it took his chain it. right off here. He was he was stuck you over he was stuck though? over the rock right there. I've always I've always run these just in case because I've seen people that have broken those two tabs. Uh -huh. I wonder if a hit like that. Would have broken. Would have broken. Because it, I mean, if it hit it hard enough to take the chain off, you, and you can see, I wonder if those two tabs. So basically, what you're saying is, lesser men would have had their bike completely broken. Exactly. Lesser men would have gone home. I'll ride the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so as as I was saying, they've given me two baselines, like a a trail baseline, like first gear, second gear, third gear, and that's what I'm running right now. And then there's like a higher speed baseline, which I don't know if I'll get into today to test. Um, some of the stuff out here is lower speed, a lot of it's higher speed. I kind of wanted to just feel it out in the baseline setting, the trail baseline setting. And I am impressed with the way that the fork is absorbing a lot of these uh, little rocks and things and the, the just the, kind of the little chop and stuff. It's very good very good um, I haven't been through too many whoops yet, but it has seemed to track quite well. I set the sag to 108 millimeters standing straight up with my weight directly over the pegs with my digital sag scale um, Gotta wait for the cows to get out of the way That was good. Dropped off that little ledge, had a step down. Third gear here, back down to second. Second gear on the old TE 300i. So 
So if you were coming to this video thinking that I was going to do a full review on the suspension, I'm sorry, I just haven't ridden it enough. I want to get some more time on the bike in some different areas, and the suspension was very, very good. Um, but I need to ride it in, in a few different areas and, and adjust the suspension just a little bit more. I bounced a little bit between the slower speed settings and the higher speed settings, but as soon as I would change it, then the terrain would change quite a bit. And I haven't shown you any of the high speed, high speed stuff here, or even any of the really technical stuff that we did yet. But that will be coming up I have more videos that will come out about that and then I'll ride the bike through March and through April as much as I can and do a full wrap-up review on not only the Husqvarna but the suspension as well so this is the bike that you can win all you have to do is go over to my website between now and April 30th of 2019 and there's a whole bunch of prize or there's a whole bunch of things that you can purchase or there's a mail-in entry for this bike but you do you can enter to win this one and the Honda the 2003 Honda CR 250R project bike so so it's pretty awesome giving away two two dirt bikes in the early part of this year and hope you guys enjoy it thanks so much for watching everyone bye